What's going on ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm getting stronger, putting on size, and staying lean. Alright, so first day I start my day off with a nice nutritious breakfast. So the first meal of the day is going to be protein oats, then I eat my vitamins in my breakfast which is 3 fish oil, a multivitamin, and a vitamin C. Recipe for this will be in the description, ingredients were on screen, hop into this, and let's get going. All right, time to make the pre-workout. So I know my breakfast is uh, very basic for a few notes, but it's just, for me, pride and true just works. So it, it tastes good, provides me with energy, I don't get a stomach ache, and I feel like it gives me a good pump. So I've been consistent with it for a long time, and the thing it is really good, even though it is just oats. As far as pre, I am a big supporter of Redcon1. You can use my code, jmofitness17, for 20% off. The uh, link will be in the description, and the code is right here. But I use Big Noise, which is basically a pump pre. And I use Total War, which is a caffeinated pre. And I, went using, I was using Moab for the biggest time as well, which is this, which basically is calcium HMB. But I did a lot of research and it pretty much says that when you're cutting, it's really useful when you're bulking, it's not. So as I am bulking, I'm, I stopped taking uh, Moab for now. And I also take a green tea. So we're gonna make this pre and then we're gonna head out. I saw one thing before I head out is what I drink during my workout. So there, are, I'll put a screenshot right here on screen of when it's actually useful to use intro workout. But I work out for a really long time, and I want to optimize everything. So I use intro workout, which for me would be a scoop of EAAs, and then cluster bomb, which is just HBCD, and is highly branched silic dextrin, which is the fastest digesting sugar slash carb source in the world. So it doesn't bloat your stomach and it goes very fast through you and it's a low glycemic source. So if you guys want to pick up any of this stuff over at redcon1.com, code jmlfitness17 for 20% off, link will be in the description. All right, just before I walk into the gym, I wanted to uh, show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing today. So I am actually restarting the power building program from Jeff Nipper today, phase one, because I had some, some, a lot of personal stuff happened and I ended up not being able to finish the last program. So I'm actually restarting it now with my new what considered one rep maxes would be. Um, and I also switched to low bar squatting instead of high bar squatting. So I tried low bar squatting by myself uh, like two, three weeks ago, and it felt so, so, so much better, and I lifted way more weight. So now I low bar squat. And today we're low bar squatting, overhead pressing, and then the rest are some just hypertrophy movements. So uh, yeah, let's hop into the workout. So I run through this general warm-up, which is a part of the program, and then I hopped into my first set of squats. Obviously, this is a warm-up set. Um, I did about three to four warm-up sets. I believe I did three today. The only thing I can say about this workout that wasn't normal for me was that my left elbow slash tricep was really, really, really hurting at this point. So like you'll see when I start to squat, I'm like leaning and I'm not even. It's because my left arm is in so much pain that I could not even it out. So this is my top set for this workout, which would be 80% of one rep max for a goal of five reps. After that was two back off sets with 70% of one rep max for two sets of eight. This angle is more of a depth check. As you can see here, as I unrack it, how bad my elbow was and how untight my back was because of it. So that wasted a lot of energy, which made the set even harder than it already was. So now we move on to overhead press. I did two warm-up sets and then it was about 30 minutes in, so I started drinking my EAAs and cluster.
so you can't hear me in this clip, but I am saying pretty much if you're lucky enough to have this machine, the idea is that you line up your hip crease, which I do kind of show, with the edge of the pad so that you can get the full range of motion and get a full hip thrust at the bottom. These are Helms rows, but I did kind of mess up because I was using a pad type thing instead of just using my shirt on the bench. So it was really, really low on my chest and I kind of was too high as you see. It looks like I'm doing a shrug instead of a row, but I fixed that in the later sets. My back got fatigued really, really quick today, so I dropped the weight to 45 pounds and uh, made sure my form was better. And the last exercise of the day is hammer curls for 25 reps. So I'm leaving the gym now. I'm going to the chiropractor actually, because I was in a car accident a few a month ago and my lower back and neck is kind of screwed, but it's been getting healed slowly. So squatting and everything heavy again is a little scary, um, but it's getting better. Also, my elbow during squat today was really, really tight, which is why the squat walkout on my last set was like almost dropped it. But aside from that, the workout was really, really good. I really like doing full body, which I haven't done in a long time. Um, but yeah, before we go to the chiropractor, I'm gonna eat. So I have an MRE bar, a sprinkled donut, and I have the MRE protein shake, cookies and cream, my favorite flavor right now. So yeah, remember, code JMLFitness17 on redcon.com, and I will link it in the description, 20% off. So we got the Kung Pao chicken meal prep with a lime greenwise bubbly, just sparkling water, zero calories. Macros for this meal will be on screen right here. And yeah, I'll see you guys after it's done. All right, so after I eat that meal, I sip on this, which happens to be Tango, which is creatine, if you guys can see. It's just creatine monohydrate, uh, some, beta some beta teen, and then some creatine nitrate, and some uh, creatine ACL. So again, code JMO Fitness 17, 20% off. All this stuff is very cheap on the website, it all tastes really good, and it's all been very effective for me. Um, but I just wanna talk about a few things that I didn't get to cover throughout the whole video, like micros and meal timings and all that type of stuff. So basically my calories are calculated automatically for me by Macro Factor, which is an app that helps you do everything. But I have the manual calculations, which I can show you guys. I'll pop up on screen a little bit of how you do them. They're pretty simple. I have a Google sheet that I designed for everybody to use. I'll put the link in the description for that as well. Basically I took my calories, my maintenance, and I was doing a 15% surplus and I was gaining weight way too fast. So I just adjust my calories until I'm gaining about one to one to two pounds a month, which is a about 1.5 pounds is my goal. So I can stay pretty lean and put on basically pure muscle. The workout I'm running is power building because I am trying to do a powerlifting meet at the peak of my bulk. And then once I do a powerlifting meet, I'm gonna cut down and start preparing for a show. So I'm hoping I can do both within the next year or so. Um, I know it's gonna take a long time to bulk. I'm planning on bulking for a very long time, but I'd like to be able to do both within the next two years. Um, meal timings, I pretty much try to space out my meals evenly, about three hours apart. My breakfast is usually about an hour before I work out, 30 minutes to an hour. Then once I work out, if I'm going to do something after I have those, the shake in the bar that I use on me today, if not, I usually have um, also Redcon's um, whey isolate, which is the fast digesting whey and the best to have post-workout, as well as like a Rice Krispie and a banana, just to have some fast digesting carbs as well as fruit. And today wasn't the best example for me because my meals were a little scattered and I went out to eat. But I try to have at least two servings of fruit a day, usually post and pre and post workout meal. 
because and vegetables. Micros are so important for your health and your diet and your body. This, they really help you like with everything. You need your micros, which is also why I take my vitamins. Just in case, I don't eat a lot of fish, so I have to take fish oil and all that type of stuff. So there are a few more things I wanted to say. Um, first off, deload. I took a deload last week because my weights were going down. I was gonna test my maxes, but instead I went into the program. I also did not drink any caffeine last week. So I've been in a really good mood all day today. My workout felt really good and I've had a lot of energy and I'm pretty sure it's because of that. So just like a quick reminder, if you're taking pre every day, you're taking caffeine, coffee every day, and maybe go off for a week or two, let your body get accustomed to not having caffeine and then it will hit way harder. Also cardio. I don't do much cardio. You're really not supposed to if you wanna put on muscle because you're gonna end up being in a calorie deficit if you do too much cardio. I do, I try to do treadmill 45 minutes two to three, uh, one to two times a week. I just keep my heart rate in between 120 and 135, and I do it twice a week, 45 minutes. Recovery, I used to do ice bath, cold plunge, cryo, all that type of stuff, and I stopped doing it because it didn't really help me, and it kind of hurts muscle growth from a lot of research. So I'm now only doing the sauna. That's, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. My calories for the whole entire day will be on screen right here, and what the program looked like today will be on the screen over here. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.